If you lose any more of my money, you won't even be able to kill yourself in this town. You fucking communist. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Peter Stock. You've probably heard of me if you buy a lot of finance magazines. Otherwise, let me tell you my story. I am one of the most successful money makers in the first half of the 1980s. But if I'm so successful, why do I live in a hovel like this? A great question, and one that given time, I will answer fully. I've come upon hard times, but I treat that as a challenge. I'll tell you my backstory in time, but first I have another story to tell you. One that may explain the world in which we live in. And the threat of communism. A parable. A fable. A story. Once upon a time, there was a bee. Greetings, comrade. Who lived, like bees do, with thousands and thousands of fellow bees in a beehive. All of the bees were equal, apart from the queen, but, you know, she's something else. She's, she's the symbol, she's their leader. Of course, she should get more than everyone else, that's only fair. But all the other bees had equal shares in the honey. Every day, from flower to flower, the bee worked hard, to get the flower dust that makes the honey that I presume bees eat. The bees empire was great and perhaps if the world was populated only by bees it could work. But the world isn't populated only by bees and flowers and honey. This was the real world. One day a wasp came across the bee's empire. Now the wasp is not like the bees. He works solo. Maybe with a business partner wasp. He saw the bee working hard and he also smelt the delicious honey. He smelt that it was good. He smelt that he wanted some. He approached the bee. Hello bee. What are you doing on this fine summer's day, working so hard? The bee replied. I am going from flower to flower to make honey for the great empire of the bees. Hey bee, how much honey do you personally get to eat? I get enough. Why shouldn't you have more? The bee had never been asked such a question before. The bee thought only of the community and not of personal gain. But now he saw the light. He saw the true way. He saw that the wasp made sense. Why shouldn't I have more honey? Come to think of it, the portion I do have isn't really enough for a hard-working bee like myself. He would use the honey as a symbol that he was the most powerful of all the bees, more powerful than the queen. So the bee took the wasp into the hive, smuggled him past the soldier bees, who have a sting four times more powerful than any other bee, and ten times as powerful as that of the wasp. The bee smuggled in the wasp, under the pretense the wasp was interested. I am interested in your bee state. But the wasp wasn't. The wasp quickly worked his way towards the honey chamber and stang everyone who came close. There was panic in the hive and amongst the panic the bees stang each other to death while the wasp escaped with all the honey. He also killed the bee, who had been a traitor to all the other bees. So the bees had no honey 
to feed themselves. And the wasp had more honey than he could possibly have dreamed of eating. I am that wasp. What the hell are you doing in here? I need to set up a bogus pension scheme. And you're the man for the job. <laughs>